this is Adrian from Oswiz and in this video I'm going to show you the table view of the stats that we are offering. We're looking at the game between Tottenham and Arsenal. At the top of the screen you see the statistics we offer, attack force, defense strength and shape, stamina or current form whatever you might call it. Below this presentation area there is a table with the list of previous matches. Depending on the package you selected, you have access to a number of games in the past. For the free package, you have eight matches. For the biggest package, you have access to the last 20 matches. The matches are by default ordered by date, with the most recent one at the top. You are able to see the date, the type of game, if it was away or home, the team, and columns for the statistics, the attack, strength, the defense, shape, and the last column is the result. On each column of the statistics, there's a gray bar and a white bar. The gray bar is showing the reference team, which in the left side is Tottenham, and on the right side is Arsenal. The white bar is the opponent. As you can see, this table is very useful when you want to see the evolution of a team based on different statistics. Here you see that Tottenham in the last four games had a little bit of down uh, with regard to attack, but the shape of the team is actually pretty steady. On the other part, you can see that Arsenal is very much fluctuating in terms of shape, so it's not very consistent. At the top of the tables, you see options that allows you to uh, make more use of the uh, statistics. You have a checkbox that or will filter matches based on the type of uh, game. For Tottenham will show only matches played at home and for Arsenal will show only matches played uh, away. Now you can see all the matches are played at home for Tottenham and all the matches are played away for Arsenal. Uh, you can sort the games by date, by attack similarity, uh, defense and uh, shape similarity. When you sort by similarity based on the statistics, the first matches displayed will be those that are most similar with the current match. In this case, the difference in attack force between Tottenham and Arsenal is 17 points, and it will try to find matches that are close to 17. If you scroll all the way down, you will see matches that are very much different from the current match. This way you would be able to make better decisions about the bet to place. Another thing to be careful about is when you mouse over a game, you see that various other matches are highlighted in this table and on the other side. The way they are highlighted is based on the team. If I'm highlighting here a match against West Ham, it will try to find other matches against West Ham, both on the left and on the right side. Sometimes there are one game on the side and two on the other, but you can get two games on both sides. That depends on how much uh, games you are allowed to see. I think that's about it for the table view. Please uh, watch the video about the graph view of the stats. They are useful in other ways. Have a nice day.